Hey everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and a happy new year and welcome to 2024. In this video we're going to be going through reflecting on what went well last year and using that to set some really effective study goals to make sure that you make the maximum amount of progress this year towards getting those grades that you need. So grab yourself a notepad as I talk you through the four top tips I have on setting yourself effective study goals and goals that you can take straight away. Starting with number one, which is consolidating core content. The first thing that I'd say to spend some time doing this January is reflecting on what you learnt either so far in year 12 or all of year 13 and year 12 and think about which topics do you find more challenging or which skills do you find more challenging and that you maybe know from tests you keep losing more marks on. Those are the topics that are your core topics that you personally need to spend more time consolidating. So that's the first thing I do, reflect on what you've been finding harder to understand or where you lost the most marks. Jot down maybe three, four topics and those are your core topics that you need to start with consolidating, maybe by using some of my entire topic videos or my A-level notes, just to really help you to fully understand that information. Number two is consistent revision. Now by revision, that could be all sorts of things. So consistently completing your homework on time to the best of your ability, using flashcards, consolidating your learning, not like intense revision all the time. But the idea here is if you're consistently actively recording content or having to go exam questions, then every time you come to a test, it'll be less overwhelming because you've been doing the work a little bit at a time but also you'll have a much better understanding in the long run and a better memory of it all in the long run. So taking the time now to do small bite-sized bits of work consistently will really pay off for you in the future in terms of your stress levels, but also your overall grade. So it's definitely a good investment of your time to do just a little bit every day. Number three is interactive and active learning. You might be pretty good at this already, but if you're not, this is a big one for you. And even if you are, there's a few improvements that I might be able to suggest. So interactive and active learning. First of all, what I mean by active learning is making sure that when you are doing your revision, you're picking activities where you are actively testing your memory. So things like flashcards, blurting, my active recall workbook, rather than just watching videos or just reading notes, or just reading the textbook. Because all of those are passive, you're just taking in the information, but not testing whether you understood it or that you remembered it as well. So try and make sure you're steering all of your work towards active learning. And you might still like to watch videos and still like to use your textbook, but you need to do it actively. So maybe watch a snippet of a video and then test yourself straight away afterwards on some key definitions, or maybe turn the video into flashcards and then you can use that later on for active recall. Now when I say interactive, this is coming up with ways to make your work more fun and therefore you are less likely to get bored, distracted and procrastinate. So some ideas for this, which have been a big focus for me this year, because I'm hearing loads of you telling me procrastination and boredom is one of your biggest challenges. So I've got three big things I've focused on already in 2023, and I'm going forwards focusing on them in 2024, which should really help with this interactive idea. Number one is my biology study club. This gives you online lessons, but also we have interactive live masterclasses, live Q and A's, and we've got our active community where people send questions directly to my mobile phone because I have the app. So you can be interactive talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, talking to the group, just to make sure that your learning is as social, interactive, and immediate as possible. Or if you are more creative, you might like the other project I've been working on, which is mind maps and diagrams, which cover the key concepts that you then have to test yourself that you understand and remember it by labeling them. So definitely look out for my mind maps and diagrams to label as a completely different idea for revision as well. If just the traditional flashcards and answering exam questions has been getting a little bit boring for you. And number four, which in my opinion is probably the most important one is self-care. Now this is one that you really need to reflect on. 
the last year just gone. Do you feel that number one, you spent enough time looking after yourself? And number two, did you actively schedule in time where it was time that you were making sure that you had time to relax or to enjoy yourself? And if the answer is no to both of those, you need to make that a priority this year. Revising for your A-levels and just studying for your A-levels is incredibly tough in terms of physically, because you'll be exhausted from all the work, but also mentally it can be as well, because you could feel a lot of pressure of, I have to make progress, I have to get these grades because I want to get into this university or this career, and that is a lot of pressure to carry. So to try and help manage that, it's really important that you are setting aside time where guilt-free, you know you are allowed to relax and do whatever you like to do to enjoy yourself, whether it's reading, watching TV, doing exercise, team sport, whatever it could be, set aside self-care time. And this is essential to make sure that you don't burn out before the exams. And also it means that when you then are doing your work time, you'll be far more focused and more efficient because your body and brain has had the time to relax before you then go on to the next session. So scheduling in self-care is essential as well. So there we have it. Those are my four key tips and goals to focus on for 2024 to really kickstart your studying to make sure that you have the most successful year possible. And if you do want any more help getting into this revision mode, then maybe check out one of my entire topic videos for one of your core concepts to get straight into consolidating that information and maybe turn it into flashcards so it is active as well. I hope you have found that helpful and I'll see you in the next video.